here's my mama, everybody, and she's gonna be making her famous brownies today, and she's got her little helper here. It's my cousin, it's my uncle's daughter, and she'll tell y'all what her name is. What's your name? Eliza. Eliza. Mama Wait. always just calls her little miss. Yeah, that's my little miss. You see her mm -hmm. apron? I made her a little apron, and I got a chicken one, and she's got a chicken one. <laughs> she's gonna she, be Mama's little helper today. Yeah. She wanted to know if she could come down and make brownies with me. And I said, okay, we can get some brownies to make brownies with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make brownies. She goes and gathers my eggs for me when she comes down here on the weekends. And uh, she wants to help cook today. Make brownies, she said. She wanted to make brownies. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little tiny bit of flour in the bottom of our pan. Just add a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna jiggle it around. I know this would be too heavy for you. Jiggle it around here a little bit. <laughs> now let me see, this got my eggs in it. So I'll take my eggs out and I'll dust the excess flour off. Okay, so here we go. To me, I don't believe you have to do that, but I thought I'd better, just in case. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put, here's your spoon. You wanna stand up and do it? You wanna hold it down here for you? First thing we're gonna do, we gotta, Something. that's supposed to be a half a cup of water, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's supposed to be three tablespoons of water. So get your three, this one right here, dip three of them out of here. One, two, three. Good. Good girl. That was her water. And then we have to put a half a cup of oil. Now, if we're going to just pour this in there. Just pour it. Can you hold it and pour it in there? She cooks with her daddy all the time. They bake. And she helps him fix breakfast this morning. And uh, I'm gonna do the eggs for her, and then she'll pour them in. What is this? So, Jonathan leaving? So, here, pour this in here. That's the one. Now, take your spoon and stir it up. Let's get it all stirred up real good. Bust your egg yolks. Yeah, like that. That's the way. Now start real good. Get it all mixed in there together. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, how old are you? Tell them how old you are. She's five. She's five. Okay, and she cooks with daddy all the time, don't you? Okay, we can just leave that in here. Yeah, she's already a professional. She's a better cook than me already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dump this in there. That's the brownie mix. Yeah. And here's the brain if y'all wanna see the, what brand it is. <laughs> okay, now stir it's it up. fudge brownie mix. And you need two eggs, a half a cup of oil, and three Tablespoons, tablespoons of, of water. water. Two eggs. And that's it. And, that's all and then you, you just coat the bottom of the pan with the... A little bit of oil, take a, a piece of wax paper or paper towel, put your oil around in there. And they say floured a little bit, so that's what we done. Now she's so gonna mix in the brownie mix. Let me get this real around here and then we'll let you mix some more. How's that sound? A little bit hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, notice how she does that. She came down here one day and she said, Mama, tell them what you told me. Like and subscribe. She subscribes and likes. She said like and subscribe. <laughs> Y'all make sure to like and subscribe for Liza. <laughs> I think her name is Eliza, but I always just call her Liza. Yeah. You gonna sing Jesus Loves Me in a little bit? You don't remember how Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible.
Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. <laughs> her brother sitting over laughing at her. We're going to turn the film on the uh, camera on them in a minute. They don't want to be showed. Okay. Now, can you let me hold this? This first time we've done this, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe you better hold that. We want to dip it out. Here, pour it out in there. Get it out. Yeah, she's been asking me for about a month now. Can we can we do brownies with you? Can we do brownies with you? I said, well, yeah, you can. Okay, let me get the rest of it out here. And then... Okay, spread it out here. Spread it in the pan. What all do you and Dad cook? You don't remember? Noodles. Noodles? Do you make biscuits with him? No? Well, I thought you did. Okay. He Let me see here. This morning. <laughs> oh, I heard your daddy say you made biscuits this morning. What did y'all have this morning for breakfast? What'd you have? Gravy, eggs, and biscuits. You didn't eat no beds? biscuit? What was it? Gravy, eggs, and biscuits. Gravy, eggs, and biscuits. I didn't because I don't like it. And one of them just like peanut butter and jelly. It's all he wants to eat. <laughs> so, yeah, do uh, you only like that? Okay, this you put it in the oven on 350. Uh, I think it said you go by the box here for 24 to 26 minutes. And mine that I made this morning I put a double recipe. I put two boxes of these and I put it in a longer pan. So we're gonna get that out and we're gonna try it. Uh, she made one already this morning to, so that way y'all could see the end product. If y'all are still watching us this part, make sure to like and subscribe. You come here and taste little miss. Mm. <laughs> come here, you eat the food. You like brownies? I like brownies too. Especially these ones. These ones are chewy ones. Chewy brownies. gonna get her a little bit out here and let her taste. Why is it so crunchy? Uh, crunchy's on the so side. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Here we go. Might be a little bit big for you, but not your brother's eating. I know you'll eat it. Here she goes, she's gonna taste it. Is it good? No. Good. Now what are we supposed to do? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and who's your best friend? You. Me, and who else? Jesus. She pointed at me. <laughs> she pointed at Corey. Both. Both, she said, Jesus too. She goes to Sunday school, <laughs> don't you, with Daddy? Yeah, so, okay. So now we're gonna, we just got a few gifts. We ha kept some in there because we had her to do today. So a lady sent me this this morning, I love it. It's a mazoose, and you hang it on your door, 
and I'm going to read what she told me to read about it. When we was in Israel, we got one, but it wasn't as pretty as this. So, yeah, you can take it around and share with your brothers. Uh, we only got a few gifts today, so we was just going to show a few that we got today, and then the rest of them we'll show on a different video. Yeah. That way the video won't be super long while they're trying to make brownies. Yeah. We didn't know how long it was going to take with her. Because <laughs> it's the first time we ever done it. Yeah, so it's kind of like a trial run. I didn't want to put all the gifts that we got out there today and do all that. Yeah, and we got this one from uh, Las Vegas. He said he watches and... Uh, um, and sent us a letter. And he was down there. And uh, he said, bless you and your good old home cooking, Margaret. And uh, he said it was from Vegas, a YouTube fan. And he had this penny in there, but he didn't tell me what it represented. So maybe he'll send me another note and tell me what it represents. But, they, uh, but that was in Las Vegas. And then we got the, the necklace here. Oh well, you're so mean. I'm going to fight you over. Go over and talk to him. I'm going to get here. Uh, Jonathan, come in here and, and get them a piece of this. And here is the, the necklace. I forget who it was sent us that now. I was trying to keep it all straight, and then they come down here. and so. Here it is, and it's really nice. Go over and get them. I'll definitely so. use it, and thank you all so much for everything. It really means a lot to us. It's super nice. And uh, what's that card there? Here's a bracelet that's really cool too. Yeah. It snaps on like a watch. And it's got a Bible verse on there. Yeah. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Isn't that the truth? We can. And this is the masseuse that you put on your door. She said, um, she showed us how to put it on the door here. And she wanted me to read this Bible verse. And... Uh, it was a verse I was looking for this morning, and I, I didn't have my iPhone. Milton went to Beckley, and he took my iPhone with him. Or not my iPhone. It was just my phone. I don't have an iPhone. It's just a regular, what kind, Corey? Uh, I think it's an Android I, or something. Yeah. But anyway, she uh, told us how to put it on the doorpost, which we have one on there. We got maybe 10 or 15 years ago when we was in Israel, but it wasn't as pretty as that. It was just a silver one. But this is beautiful. But anyway, in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 9. Let me get over here. I haven't listened to it. Let me get over here. It says, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6, and starting with the fourth verse, and we'll go read to the ninth, uh, ninth verse. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in the house. This was the verse I was looking for this morning, talking about talking to the children and teaching them. And when thou walkest by the way, and when thou Lies down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and thou shalt be as for fortress between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posters of thy house and on thy gates. And that's what's inside of this, too. Little I have note. a wisdom tooth, though. Huh? I have a wisdom tooth. You have a wisdom tooth? Oh. A loose tooth. A loose tooth. You want to get money from the tooth fairy? When it comes out, if you put it under a pillow, the tooth fairy will come and he'll, he'll leave you. He'll leave you dollars. Did you get dollars? And in uh, Deuteronomy 11, 13 through 21, it says, and she likes verse 20, she said, And it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto my commands which I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul that I will give you the rain of your land in his due season. 
the first rain and the latter rain, and thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thine oil, and I will send grass in thy field for thy cattle, that thou mayest eat and be full. Take heed to yourselves, that your heart be not deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. See, God don't want us to do that. And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heavens, and there be no more rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and least ye perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as fortress between your eyes. And ye shall teach them your children, Speaking of them when thou settest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt write them upon the door posters of thine house, and upon the gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. And that's true too. You know, but I really appreciate this. I really, I really love it. But uh, God is good. He does take care of us, protect us. But we have to put him first and trust in him, you know. And uh, that's what we have to do. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be going to Camp Creek to uh, Milton's uh, family reunion. It's called the McBride, Farley, and um, Woods reunion. His mother was a McBride. Uh, Milton's mother was. So we're going tomorrow for that, and we'll probably be filming from there. So uh, that's what Corey said. We'll film some, and I'll, and I'll, if uh, they want to, I'll show you some of Milton's people. Uh, just about all his aunts is gone, and uh, so, but they still a few around. I think he's got two, but they're in their eighties, aren't they, Milton? Oh, he's not in here. I think they're in their eighties, and I don't know if they can travel uh, uh, or not. You know, I don't know if they're going to be able to come. They come last year, one of them did. So, but that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, and we'll try to film tomorrow and show you some of it. And I'm going to take my macaroni salad, and, of course, I'll get my Walmart chicken, because Milt said I'm not cooking all the time like I used to for these reunions and church picnics and stuff. <laughs> so he says, you get too tired. And so we're not, uh, I won't be, I'll just make my macaroni salad and take chicken. But anyway, um, I remember all y'all's prayer requests. I was going to bring the book in here, but we pray over it all the time. And uh, every time I pray, I remember all y'all, you know. Uh, I just got the book and I tell the Lord, I can't remember all your names or anything or what it's for. But I know that a lot of you need a, good, a touch from the Lord, that you're having health problems and uh, things like that, you know, and, and you really need a touch from the Lord. And I pray that the Lord will touch you and give you your uh, heart's desire, you know, because... Uh, but we have to trust in the Lord, you know. And, um, you know, if you're serving the Lord, he knows your heart. Don't don't let the devil deceive you. Don't let him put thoughts in your head thinking you're not worthy to serve the Lord or, or, or worry whether you're a Christian or not. As long as you serve the Lord and you do what's right, you know. And if you mess up or you say something you're not supposed to say, you know, you just say, uh, Lord, forgive me and help me to do better. You know, I was I was real bad about getting angry. And I would get so mad at uh, some of my kids, you know. And uh, I'd have to repent and ask the Lord forgive me, you know, because I'd get so aggravated. But God has taken that from me, and I thank God for that. And every time I would mess up and get real angry, and I'd say, Lord, please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. And, you know, gradually, you know, it won't come overnight, but gradually you'll overcome it. But you know the devil's there all the time to try to uh, trick you and get you to say things or do things. But uh, just tell him, get behind me, Satan, and say, Lord, help me to do better. Help me to be a good Christian, Lord. As long as you stay in the Word and you do what you know is right in this Word, you're okay. Don't let the devil worry your mind that you're not saved or whether you're going to go to heaven or not. You love the Lord in your heart and you done repentance, you're going to heaven. He said, believe on me. And you'll go to heaven. You know, you know that the Lord uh, come as a babe. And he died on the cross for your sins. 
And when you say, Lord, forgive me of my sins, and you repented and gave your heart to God, you're saved. You will be going to heaven with God. But if you mess up, happen to mess up, just say, Lord, forgive me, and don't stay there in, in a mess. Just get up and start serving the Lord, you know. He loves you. He'll forgive you, you know. But I love you. I thank you for all that you do for us, for watching our videos. Um, just God bless you and take care of yourself. And we'll see you tomorrow, Lord's willing. Love y'all. Amen. And if y'all was wondering about the macaroni salad video that she was just now talking about, uh, you can go back on the playlist. It says all videos, non-shorts, and you could find her macaroni salad recipe there. And thank y'all so much again for all the gifts. It really means a lot to us, and we'll definitely use it. I'll make sure to use this for sure. And I got my pictures hung today. Uh, here's the I picture that somebody sent. I love it. Yeah, no. but, uh, and uh, don't forget to, uh, when you send me letters and stuff, Put your address on the inside of your cards because uh, the post office marks over them and I can't see them. And I like seeing y'all a thank you note every once in a while. So as much as I can get to. But uh, y'all take care. And um, y'all want us to tell you who sends them. We'll try to do that. You know, I try to next time try to tell who sends everything. You know, somebody asks us to do that. Let us know in the comments what's up with this penny, if it's like a special penny or what? Or what's the story behind the penny? Yeah, and another thing y'all wanted to know, uh, y'all wanted us to make a wish list. Um, we don't feel good about that because it's like we're begging for y'all to send us stuff. And um, you know, if God lays on your heart to do something for us, we love it, we thank you, but you don't have to do that, you know. But uh, you know, if God lays it on your heart, that's fine. But we're not going to make a wish list, you know. We just let God use however. But we love you. You watch us and you subscribe and and share, and that's all we ask, you know. But we love you, and we do appreciate everything you do for us. And we are trying to get some merch made up, done up and a cookbook done. So y'all just pray for us that we can get it done. Love y'all. And we'll make sure to put all the other gifts that we got in the next videos. Yeah. And let us know what y'all want to see us do at the reunion. If y'all want to see us playing games or if y'all just want to see the food or if y'all want to see us on the car ride over there, just let us know everything in the comments that y'all want to see tomorrow whenever we're going to the reunion. Oh, you leaving. And thank y'all so much again for everything. And God bless y'all. Yes. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's what she's saying. <laughs> oh. God bless y'all.